Hello everyone. It is continuation to the invoice split series. Today we are going to discuss about uh, different business uh, requirements. Uh, for example, uh, one sold to customer, they want to create invoices for multiple deliveries. That means uh, a single invoice for multiple deliveries for the same customer. For another customer, they need to create only one invoice for multiple sales orders. In another case, they want to create invoices for ship to party wise. If suppose, suppose in uh, if 04 we have uh, uh, 10 uh, deliveries, uh, 5 deliveries relevant to one ship to party, another 5 relevant to another ship to party. In this case, business expecting two invoices, ship to party wise, one invoice. A similar way we can uh, create invoices for a POD date wise and uh, ship to party wise, tax code wise, tank ID wise, so many, so many ways we can combine one invoice for, for all the parameters. Here I have listed a uh, uh, few examples like uh, by customer PO wise, uh, delivery wise, order, ship to customer wise and tax code. Okay, so how to achieve this requirement? First of all, we need to create one custom table. In the custom table, uh, first column refers to that uh, in my split, uh, the criteria numbers. Uh, it's a description for the two criteria and this is a combination criteria. Okay. After creating the custom table, then we need to create a structure for this combination criteria. In this custom table, we have declared as ZUKR underscore zero one. It is nothing but a structure. For each and every combination criteria, we need to create one structure. The fields inside the structure is as per business requirement. It is not like always we should use this, uh, for example, distribution channel, uh, division, and plant, or customer PO. Again, a distribution channel, division, uh, sales org, and uh, reference document. Not like that. It depends on the business uh, requirement. 